Advocates and lawyers for people with disabilities are voice, voicing their concerns about the province's new vaccine certificate system and the QR code that is expected to come out next month. They're saying people with disabilities are being left behind. Manisa Danabalan has the story. My son, basically, unless he's with me, he doesn't have access to his passport. Megan Graham is a mother of three, a 27-year-old and two teenagers. All three of them have disabilities and experience difficulties with the vaccine passport. A big one that actually we had already with my youngest is that she doesn't have data on her cell phone. So in order to actually download this passport onto her cell phone was very, very tricky. Anthony Frazina from the Ontario Disability Coalition says many people are having a hard time to even book a vaccine. The way the website was set up, it's very wordy. You're not able to navigate it quite well with hotkeys. Troubles with the, the way the language is portrayed, the way the font sizes are portrayed on the website. And having the phone number as kind of a last resort needs to be top of page, top of mind. And that the QR code the province is expected to start next month may be harder to access. A lot of people with the dis within the disability community uh, may not even have a cell phone. You know, you know that's, a, that's problematic, are not necessarily technology savvy. It could create new disability barriers for people with disabilities. And during COVID, people with disabilities have already faced uh, too many barriers. David Lepofsky says the app itself needs to be accessible. I'm blind. I use an iPhone. Some apps are designed to work with the voice that reads aloud. It's not Siri. It's called VoiceOver. But some apps are not. And if they don't build accessibility in, we won't be able to use it. Frazina says the number of people in Hamilton who have disabilities is actually greater than the provincial and national average. And he says the province should have more user-friendly options so that people with disabilities can be more independent, like a vaccine card. I'll have cards available for individuals who use Braille. The province says people can still present the paper version of the vaccine receipt after the QR code is released. Both groups want the province to collaborate with people who have disabilities while creating the QR code. Minisa Danabalan, CHCH News.